Let's click through the alphabet of stock tickers just to get an idea of how good this strategy is. A, up $52,000. B, $113,000. C, $36,000. $33,000. $43,000. $113,000. $43,000. Um, I is no longer a working symbol. $86,000. And then finally, K, negative $15,000. However many letters K is into the alphabet, that's how long it took us to find a losing stock with this very simple strategy. You like the video? I'll explain the strategy. Let's go. Boys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit scared of how well this strategy works. Because how many times have you heard, oh, you can't just trade with one indicator. You'll never make money only using an indicator. This strategy literally only uses the MACD indicator. And I've done even some more clicking around. I mean, really any stock you want to look at. This is SPY, an S&P 500 ETF, $40,000. Are you a tech trader? I'll click through some tech stocks here for you. Are you a, you know, are you a bank guy? Maybe, you're, maybe you'd like to trade the bank stocks. I'll click through some bank stocks here for you. What's Bank of America? Bank of America is BAC. BA is Boeing. But... I'm even Boeing there. Are, are you like more like safe haven stocks like Home Depot, McDonald's, Walmart? It's hard for me to find a stock where this strategy doesn't work on. And once again, it's literally so simple, literally using one indicator. Uh, it's a little scary, but at the same time, really showcases the power of the MACD indicator. I'm going to jump into my code here, just show you. If you don't understand the code, don't worry. I will explain it in English as well, but look at how simple the code is. It's literally just, first off, this, this is taking $30,000 positions each trade, um, but it's literally just when the MACD value crosses above the MACD average, buy. When the MACD value crosses back below the MACD average, sell. And all that's saying is when this uh, when this uh, blue line crosses above the slower moving yellow, uh, kind of pale yellow line here, buy. When it crosses back below, sell. You could look at the histogram. The histogram is the same too, actually. Let's turn on a MACD histogram, uh, which is just going to remove the MACD lines. It literally just follows this as well because that crossover is what the MACD histogram is. When the bars go from red to green, buy. When the bars go from green to red, sell. That's it. And you've seen how well it performs across a breadth of the market, right? Now, should you literally just go trade this way? Maybe, maybe not. There's probably a little bit more like risk tolerance that you should have built into a strategy like this and a little bit more size optimization, not just always taking $30,000 worth. Some more complexities probably should be added to a strategy like this before you take it and trade it. But what a code like this does, what a test like this does is it proves the power of an indicator and it gives you ideas for how you can include indicators in your trade strategy and hopefully in this short video today you just learn the power of the MACD crossover. Hey, I would love to make this video eight minutes long so YouTube will pay me my ad revenue, but that's really all I have to say. It's that easy. If you haven't already checked out my website, daytradingstrategies.net, it's where I share all of my custom codes like this. There's a link at the top of the description. Go click on that and check it out. Otherwise, make sure you like, make sure you subscribed, check out the video that YouTube recommends for you on the outro screen. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. <laughs>